What makes a Native American tribe truly formidable? Throughout history, certain tribes have stood out for their unmatched resilience, strategic brilliance, and unyielding spirit. These tribes, including the Apache, Comanche, Lakota, and Cheyenne, have left an indelible mark on history with their exceptional tactics and legendary leaders. Think of warriors like Geronimo, Quanah Parker, Sitting Bull, and Crazy Horse, whose stories inspire awe. So which tribe's legacy will captivate you the most? And what did they do to be among the most brutal, formidable tribes in Native American history? Let's get started. And remember to let us know in the comments what topics you'd like us to cover next. The Apache People Traditionally inhabiting the southwestern United States, specifically Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, are renowned for their resilience, formidable guerrilla warfare tactics, and indomitable spirit. This region, characterized by rugged terrain, played a significant role in shaping the Apache way of life and their military strategies. The Apaches utilized the challenging landscape to their advantage, becoming experts in hit-and-run tactics that effectively allowed them to resist various encroachments. Among the notable leaders of the Apache were Geronimo and Cochise, whose names have become synonymous with the fierce resistance against foreign domination. Geronimo, perhaps the most famous Apache leader, is legendary for his numerous escapes from capture and his relentless resistance against U.S. forces. Born in what is now New Mexico, Geronimo led his people in numerous raids and skirmishes, using his deep knowledge of the land to evade and outmaneuver his enemies. His ability to survive and fight on despite overwhelming odds made him a symbol of resistance and resilience. Another iconic leader, Cochise, was a key figure during the Apache Wars. He fiercely defended his people's territory against Mexican and later American incursions. Known for his tactical acumen, Cochise orchestrated numerous successful raids and was instrumental in maintaining Apache resistance for many years. His leadership was characterized by a deep commitment to his people's freedom and way of life making him a respected figure in Apache history. The Apache's guerrilla warfare tactics were highly effective against the more conventionally organized military forces of the Spanish, Mexican, and American armies. These tactics included swift raids, ambushes, and strategically using the southwest challenging terrain. The Apache would strike quickly and then disappear into the mountains and deserts making it difficult for their adversaries to retaliate or capture them. This form of warfare showcased their strategic brilliance and their deep understanding of and connection to their homeland. The rugged terrain of the southwestern United States, with its deserts, mountains, and canyons, was both a refuge and a weapon for the Apache. They knew the land intimately, using its natural features to launch surprise attacks and evade pursuers. This profound connection to the land was a tactical advantage and a cornerstone of Apache culture. Their ability to thrive in such a harsh environment speaks volumes about their resourcefulness and resilience. The Comanche Often called the Lords of the Plains were a Native American tribe known for their exceptional horsemanship, extensive control over vast territories, and formidable combat skills. They primarily inhabited the Great Plains region, including parts of present-day Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. The Comanche were a dominant force from the 18th century through the 19th century, influencing the cultural and political landscape of the American Southwest. One of the most notable Comanche leaders was Quanah Parker, who was pivotal in the tribe's resistance against encroaching settlers and their eventual transition to reservation life. Quanah Parker, born to a Comanche chief and an Anglo-American mother, Cynthia Ann Parker, became a unifying figure for the Comanche people. His leadership was marked by a blend of traditional warrior ethos and practical diplomacy, which helped guide his people through one of the most challenging periods in their history. The Comanche were exceptional horsemen, a skill that profoundly influenced their mobility and warfare tactics. Their mastery of horseback riding and breeding was unparalleled, and they were among the first Native American tribes to fully integrate horses into their culture after the animals were introduced to the Americas by the Spanish. 
The Comanche's ability to ride and maneuver horses with remarkable agility gave them a significant advantage in battles and raids. They could travel long distances quickly, strike their enemies with surprise attacks, and retreat just as swiftly, making them formidable opponents. The horse was a tool of war and a symbol of status and wealth within Comanche society. The tribe's economy and way of life revolved around horses used for hunting, transportation, and trade. Their skill in breeding and training horses allowed the Comanche to maintain large herds, facilitating their dominance over the Great Plains. The mobility afforded by their horsemanship enabled the Comanche to control vast territories, stretching from the Arkansas River in the north to central Texas in the south, and from the foothills of the Rocky Mountains in the west to the Cross Timbers in the east. Quanah Parker's leadership was instrumental in navigating the challenges of the encroaching settlers and the U.S. government's westward expansion. He was a fierce warrior who participated in numerous battles against both settlers and rival tribes. However, as the U.S. military campaigns intensified, Parker recognized the need for a new approach. He led his people during the Red River War of 1874-75, but eventually facing overwhelming odds, he negotiated a peaceful surrender. Parker's transition from warfare to diplomacy was marked by his efforts to ensure the survival and well-being of his people on the reservation. Quanah Parker was crucial in transitioning to reservation life at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He worked to integrate the Comanche into the new economic realities while preserving their cultural heritage. Parker became a prominent figure advocating for Native American rights, and his leadership extended into efforts to bridge the gap between Native and Anglo-American cultures. His ability to navigate both worlds made him a respected leader and a symbol of resilience and adaptability. The Lakota Part of the larger Sioux Nation are a Native American tribe known for their central role in resisting the U.S. government's westward expansion. Inhabiting the northern plains, encompassing parts of present-day North and South Dakota and Nebraska, the Lakota were crucial players in some of the most significant conflicts of the late 19th century. Their strategic prowess and cultural richness are exemplified by notable leaders such as Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. The Lakota were instrumental in resisting U.S. expansion, with one of their most famous engagements being the Battle of the Little Bighorn. This battle, also known as Custer's Last Stand, took place on June 25th to 26th. 1876, and was a significant victory for the Lakota and their allies. Under the leadership of Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse, the Lakota, along with the Northern Cheyenne and Arapaho, successfully defeated the 7th Cavalry Regiment of the United States Army, led by Lt. Col. George Armstrong Custer. The strategic significance of the Battle of the Little Bighorn cannot be overstated. It was a rare and decisive victory for Native Americans against U.S. forces, highlighting the tactical acumen and unity of the Lakota and their allies. The battle directly responded to U.S. encroachments on their lands, particularly after discovering gold in the Black Hills, a region sacred to the Lakota. Sitting Bull's vision during a Sundance ceremony where he foresaw a great victory played a crucial role in galvanizing the warriors and unifying the tribes. Crazy Horse's leadership on the battlefield was marked by his tactical brilliance and fearlessness, contributing significantly to the victory. Beyond their military engagements, the Lakota's spiritual and cultural aspects are deeply woven into their identity. The Sundance, one of the most important ceremonies, is a time of renewal and reaffirming their connection to the Great Spirit. This ceremony involves days of fasting, dancing, and sometimes piercing and flesh offerings symbolizing sacrifice and the quest for spiritual visions. Sitting Bull's Sundance vision in 1876, which foretold victory over the U.S. soldiers, is one of the most renowned instances, highlighting the profound spiritual aspects of Lakota life. The Cheyenne A Native American tribe of the Great Plains traditionally inhabited present-day Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana areas. Known for their formidable warrior culture, the Cheyenne played crucial roles in the Indian Wars of the 19th century and maintained a strong alliance with the Lakota. 
Their resilience, strategic prowess, and rich cultural traditions are exemplified by notable leaders, such as Black Kettle and Dull Knife. The Cheyenne's homeland spanned the Great Plains, a vast region with rolling prairies, rugged terrain, and open expanses. This environment shaped their way of life, fostering a culture of mobility, hunting, and warfare. Among the most notable Cheyenne leaders were Black Cattle and Dull Knife, who became symbols of their people's bravery and resistance. The Cheyenne were revered as formidable warriors for their bravery, tactical understanding, and combat skills. They were central figures in the Indian Wars, a series of conflicts between Native American tribes and the U.S. government. These wars were driven by the expansionist policies of the United States, which encroached on native lands and threatened their way of life. The Cheyenne, alongside the Lakota and other allied tribes, fiercely resisted these incursions. Black Kettle, a southern Cheyenne chief, is remembered for his leadership during great turmoil. Despite his efforts to seek peace with the U.S. government, Black Kettle and his people suffered a brutal attack during the Sand Creek Massacre in 1864. On November 29, 1864, a Colorado militia led by Colonel John Chivington attacked a Cheyenne and Arapaho encampment at Sand Creek, killing around 150 Native Americans, most of whom were women, children, and the elderly. Black Kettle survived the massacre and continued to advocate for peace, but his relentless pursuit of a nonviolent resolution was met with further violence. Dull Knife, or Morning Star, was a Northern Cheyenne leader known for his steadfast resistance against U.S. forces. After the defeat at the Battle of Little Bighorn, where the Cheyenne and Lakota secured a significant victory, Dull Knife led his people in a desperate struggle to return to their homeland after being forcibly relocated to Indian Territory, present-day Oklahoma. The Northern Cheyenne departure, known as Dull Knife's Raid, saw his people endure harsh conditions and relentless pursuit by U.S. troops. The Cheyenne played vital roles in several key battles during the Indian Wars. Their alliance with the Lakota was particularly significant, bolstering their collective strength against U.S. military forces. The Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876 was a notable example of this alliance, where the Cheyenne, led by warriors such as Two Moons and Lame White Man, fought alongside the Lakota to achieve a decisive victory against Lt. Col. George Armstrong Custer's 7th Cavalry. The Cheyenne's strategic alliance and military contributions were crucial in resisting U.S. expansion. Their participation in the Great Sioux War of 1876-77, including the battles of Rosebud and Little Bighorn, demonstrated their tactical prowess and the effectiveness of their collaboration with the Lakota and other tribes. So which of these formidable tribes do you think had the most significant impact on Native American history? Please let us know in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Also, hit the subscribe button to get notifications on the latest uploads on the channel. As always, see you in the following video.